amazing feeling just to know that this or that person that was in your class that uh, they're now graduating, that they got our residency offering in this or that uh, hospital. That's just an amazing feeling. It's, um, it, um, it really gives us feedback in what we're doing and it keeps us uh, pushing to keep on doing what we're doing. Well, usually when a student comes to us, basically they are, you can say, raw material or raw students. And it's up to us to work and help them shape their own way of thinking, their personality, uh, to guide them how to study, how to approach the subject, and how to further themselves. The, the size of the groups that we teach, because we can handle and teach and um, work along with a certain number of persons, a certain number of students from which we know the name and where they come from and many uh, details about their lives. And that helps a lot. It helps a lot. I know that sometimes professors concentrate on like, oh, you got to study this, 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 but you know, there's so much material that you can absorb in such a little time. But I also understand that my student is not only the person that is giving me the grades, right? I understand that there's a whole per a person behind it. I'm also very interested on in learning from each one of them personally. I, there's a, there's a, a few students that will come back and tell me, not just, uh, not graduated only, but people are like in between. Too. I had a student that uh, was in a subways and there was a man who collapsed in front of them. Uh, he was with his mother and the man falls in front of him. He had a cut in his forehead, stitches from the emergency room, a little patch in the forehead. And my student recognized in him all the signs and symptoms of subdural hematoma, told him, you need to go to the emergency room again. He was already there. They, they need to CAT scan you. And uh, that actually saved the life of this person. So something that's, that, that fulfills me so much. That's like, to hear that from a student, thank you, Dr. Frank, for teaching me this in neuro, for, for really enforcing it to the point where I just saved somebody's life and I still not even graduated. That's just awesome. I think the biggest adjustment was like the island itself, not even like school-wise. It was like moving away from home and being away from family and friends and just living on your own because it's my first time. And this is like, I didn't go to university before I did the pre-med program, so I was in Surrey. And then I came here and it's good. I like the school. The teach some teachers are really, really helpful. Like you can go to them with like problems outside of school as well. Cause they know that like your parents are far away from you and they're really like caring like that. And the program is good. I feel like I've learned a lot. It's really fast paced though, so you have to like go home and study a lot. I've had a couple family friends that have been through this school and now they're doing residencies in Chicago. And so it was a no-brainer. Our success rate in USMLE is going up, okay? A lot of people are getting residencies. They are not just getting residencies, but they are, got, uh, they are getting residencies in reputed hospitals, you know, institutions which matters, you know? So that brings a positive name. And uh, when people hear about us, we are still a small school on a small island, such as Aruba, but people are discovering us, okay? And right now, a lot of people are coming from other medical schools and transferring over to us, you know? So, which is a sign of progress, you know? Uh, certain criteria that I looked at uh, approval by, uh, you know, um, uh, the, the accreditation for this school that I looked at very strongly and the level of uh, ki students matching residency. So that was, these two aspects were important for me to see how well the school has been established. Once I looked at that, uh, the, the numbers were uh, impressive. And, and I spoke to other students that went here in the past and they said the opportunities are vast. Uh, as long as you put your work into it, the doors are, will be open for you. I, like, I love the professors here. They make you feel that you're at home. You're not that far away from home, so that's good. Students here are good as well. You make friends easily. They're nice people. But at the end of the day, it's not about the social life. It's not about everything. For me, 
I've been through all that in undergrad. I've been out to have my fun. So now it's all about getting down to business and finishing it up and getting out of here and continuing in my career. Coming straight out of high school, I knew that I would have to dedicate a lot of years into medicine. And thankfully, Arius has a program that allows you to kind of eliminate a lot of the extra information in, um, like in your undergrads, but for the pre-med program here, they give you the core information. So they don't waste your time. They give you this basic, the, the core information that you really need into learning medicine. I liked their website. I liked what I'd heard about from other students. You know, the information that I could find um, was really interesting. I'd heard a lot of successful stories from uh, previous students through my parents and their friends too, just given who they knew. Um, and I'd always wanted to come to medical school, so it seemed like a really good fit. Um, I, like, I like the beach. I don't get to see too much of it here because we're studying all the time. But it is nice to have that option to at least see it <laughs> and get a little bit of that when we can. Honestly, if you're this type of person who wants to do medicine, it doesn't matter where you are, you're going to be focused anyways. The best thing about being on Aruba is that when you do want a break, at least you can go out and you can see the scenery, you can see the water, you can go hang out on the beach. But at the end of the day, when you're surrounded by people who are as driven as you, who want to study as much as you, you're going to study. It's undoubtable. I would say this school is really good. Um, it's a gateway. You really have to put the effort yourself. You can't depend, oh, the teachers haven't taught me this and that. If you are determined and you want to learn, you'll do fine. Just focus on your studies and don't make sure that's your priority. And force yourself and have self-discipline and you'll do fine. Uh, I would say that just be ready to put in work. It's, it's tough. It's a lot of hours and a lot of energy drinks. It's not an easy, nobody said medicine has been easy for them and you have to constantly keep up. The second you fall behind, it all starts to crumble. So, I mean, I would just make sure to tell the student to make sure that they know what they're getting into and to just keep goals and just knock them down as they go through the program. That's what I've been doing. It's been working. So I, keep to, I hope to keep it that way. Well, they are most welcome. I think, rather I'm sure, they are coming to the correct place. And we will take care of them. And we will be their parents far away from home. And we look at all of them the way we look at our own kids at home. And we take care of them passionately. We follow up on their educational needs as well as other needs when it requires. We will always and we are always and we were always for the students in every aspect of their life when it requires. Well, I think this is a very good choice. It's a very good school. It's a very uh, much um, oriented in preparation for the um, for the USMLE and um, also the Canadian exams. And um, it's located in the most beautiful island you can imagine, so.